who were experimenting so uh, uh, you know shahid also uh, has a lot of uh, um, uh, experimentation from in his own creative work as well so if there is something called visual poetry which is not really what agash aidali was attempting at in this poem however one can read the poem in that manner in the sense if we look at the first three stanzas i think your screen must be showing them we see that these are pretty neat and precise uh, uh, lines you know uh, um, rhythmically and visually they seem to resemble the postcard you know jaise ki wo 4 by 6 inches ki baat kar raha hai to wo ek rectangular shape mein hamare samne nazar aati hai but when you reach the second part of the poem and you see that it, the lines have very different varied and varied line lengths the the mm. uh, rhythm is not the same the line lengths are not the same the use mm. of uh, you know uh, punctuations are a little tricky in mm. the second part of the poem because <laughs> of the poem beta you have to mute yourself uh, students need to mute themselves for me to be able to speak so uh, when we reach this or when we look at the second part or the latter part of the poem we see that the first part is resembles the postcard where his emotions nevertheless how intense they are they are very precise but as he moves on in that direction we see that the line vary in their length which reflects how he is thinking about it and the fact that he does not really use a full stop in the end i told you ki humne yahan par full stop rakha hai par aga shahid ali ne jab wo poem publish karayi thi to unke pub, uh, published kitab mein last mein jo undeveloped ke baad full stop hai उन्होंने नहीं यूज किया है विच शोज दैट दिस वॉज अ मेमरी ट्रेन तो यहाँ पर सेकेंड हाफ में आके उनकी पोएम जो है वो मेमरी की तरह आगे पीछे हो रही है और मेमरी की तरह यू नो हेजी हो रही है जैसे आपकी मेमरी में बहुत ज्यादा प्रसिशन नहीं होता है नीटनेस नहीं होती है तो वो नीटनेस आपको पहले दूसरे स्टैंडर्स में समझ में आती है और नीचे के स्टैंडर्स में वो नीटनेस हेजी हो रही है ऑप्सिक्योर हो रही है सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द फीचर्स दैट वी हैव इन द पोएम नाउ आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट दिस इज अ नॉस्टैल्जिया पीस और जिसमें लॉस एंड लॉन्गिंग है द लॉस सेंस ऑफ लॉस ऑफ द होम एंड लॉन्गिंग टू बी देयर द लॉन्गिंग टू बी एट वंस होम प्लेस नाउ डायस्पोरा पोएट्री डी आई ए एस पी ओ आर ए डायस्पोरा poetry is a major genre of the post colonial poetry uh uh mk soon se aap logo ko pata hi hoga ye sari cheeze uh diaspora generally apne vatan ko chhod kar dusre vatan mein settled ho jane wale logo ko kehte hain aur usme kai sare categories hote hain there are people who leave uh, their homeland for greener pastures who are simply known as migrants and yet there are people who are pushed out of their homelands because of you know troubled politics or because of their gender identity and so uh, such things so that entails another set of emotion for the person who is leaving the home and then of course there are so many uh, political refugees that you have at this point in his life in the 1980s when he was writing this poem aga shahid ali was a simple migrant he was an emigre poet who had left home who had left kashmir not because kashmir mein trouble hua tha kashmir mein trouble 87 ke baad hua tha 88 se 90s mein political trouble flare kiya tha by the time he was writing this poem it was not that horrific a scene in in kashmir so at this point he had left kashmir in search of greener pastures unko aur behtar uh, uh, future aur behtar zindagi mil rahi thi and yet in even in this poem we feel when he's you know talking back about coming back to uh, kashmir and things will not be so brilliant so ultramarine so sharp we sense a, 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 a we experience a sense of displacement that he has he knows that this is home and this is the closest i'll ever be to home so that is there and memory trail i've already talked to you about 
नाउ ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी में स्पेशली टी एस एलिट की जो पोइट्री थी जिनके ऊपर आगा शाहिद अली ने अपनी पी एच डी करी थी he was uh, in hugely influenced by ezra pound and ezra pound was the person who brought an imagistic quality to ts eliot's poetry imagistic quality was a tradition or was was a way of dealing with poetry where they had picked uh, you know they they believed in not talking about the emotions so much like the victorians or the romantics used to do but concentrating on visual images created in the writing to jab aap ye poem padhte hain to aapko ek imagistic strain nazar aata hai this poem is not an imagistic poem because he is talking about his emotions he says you know when i return the colors won't be so brilliant magar jab wo shuruaat karte hain apni poem ki to aapko usme images visual images nazar aa rahi hain kyunki hapin je malayas hai 4 by 6 inches ka postcard hai apne haath mein pakde hue hain so it has that imagistic strain uh the metonymy is uh, you know when he says that this is home and this is the closest i'll be to kashmir shrinks into my mailbox so kashmir is shrinking into the mailbox and i hold the 4 by 6 inches uh, uh 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 postcard in my hand and he also says the half inch himalayas are what visualizes or what represents my home so that is basically a metonymic imagery where he's associating himalaya the picture of himalayas with his home in and in kashmir the actual home of the poet as well as the you know uh, the fluid idea of the homeland which is represented by the postcard so that is is the metonymic reference that you have over there then of course this condensation condensation kehte hain jab aap bahut pheli hui cheez ko samet dete hain to apni poetry mein he is talking in a very uh, he is using very condensed images you know uh, 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 from the half inch himalayas he quickly jumps on to jhelum and he is using the, these nature images uh, they are not he is not talking about the city he is not talking about the houses he is not talking about the streets he is not talking about the chinar leaves he he uses very precise images of kashmir the half inch himalayas and the jhelum water just two images that he uses and he you know uh, through uh, uh, representing them in the light that you no know, this is the half inch himalaya that i hold in my hand and the jhelum waters won't be so clean he is basically uh, uh, you know gathering up his entire gamut of emotions his entire intensity of emotions into these small uh, you know precise images so that is condensation then of course there is hyperbole hyperbole we all know is you know when you exaggerate and uh, uh, post colonial poetry mein or post modern poetry mein especially uh, hyperbole bahut zyada use hoti hai mock Uh, effect use करने के लिए when the poet is trying to mock a certain sentiment, uh, be trying to be ironic about certain sentiment. But in Aga Shahid Ali, you will come across a lot of hyperboles where he has picked up that tradition not from the European or the Western poetic tradition, but from you no know, Urdu poetic tradition. Uh, Shahid Ali was a Shia Muslim, and uh, he was also aware of all the ghazals. Uh, he he was not very well versed in Urdu, by the way. Uh, उनका फर्स्ट लैंग्वेज अंग्रेजी ही था वो हिंदी बोल लेते थे वो उर्दू बोल लेते थे पर वो उर्दू पढ़ना और लिखना बहुत ज्यादा नहीं जानते थे तो और ना ही उन्होंने उर्दू में कभी पोइट्री लिखी एक आध अपनी पोइट्री का ट्रांसलेशन जरूर किया है उन्होंने उर्दू में बट ही वॉज नॉट अ बेसिक और नेटिव उर्दू स्पीकर आई थिंक ही न्यू कश्मीरी और लिटिल बट बट ही वॉज बेसिकली अ हिंदी एंड अ इंग्लिश स्पीकर यही दो जमाने उनको ज्यादा अच्छे से आते लेटर ऑन ही आल्सो पिक्ड अप अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ स्पैनिश आई थिंक बट हाइपर बिली इज अ ट्रेडिशन व्हिच इज वेरी प्रेवलेंट इन द उर्दू पोइट्री तो वहां से उन्होंने ये ट्रेडिशन पिकअप किया था सो ही सेज दैट यू नो दिस इज दिस पर्टिकुलर लाइन नाउ आई होल्ड द हाफ इंच हिमालय इन माई हैंड कश्मीर श्रिंग्स इन माई मेल बॉक्स so these two ideas are both hyperbolic and then this uh, again uh, the colors won't be so bri- no, no sorry this particular line and my memory will be a little out of focus a giant negative 
uh, in black and white still undeveloped. So this this is also a very hyperbolic statement where where he's trying to project his memory as a giant negative. Negative, I told you, is that piece of you know plastic roll, जहाँ पर आपके photo खिचकर उसका draft बनता था. That is called the uh, negative. So that is uh, what he is referring to. Then of course the paradox I've already pointed out. जब वो कहते हैं कि this is home and this is the closest I'll ever be to home. And the poem is not written in any kind of a you know regular meter. It is a free verse poem. The first three lines uses a you know all the lines uses basically iambic pentameter. Sorry, iambic uh, uh, stresses, but it's not a pentameter as such. because there are different stresses at different point of time so it's it's basically uh, a free verse a modern poetry where he also uses a modern technique of this you know camera rolls and focuses and uh, so it's a very urban uh, 20th century kind of a poetry that he uses and yet the sentiments are as fundamental or as universal to any migrant Up till this point, Aga Shahid Ali had uh, experienced no political trouble in Kashmir. Kashmir. आज हम जब सुनते हैं तो सबसे पहले सोचते हैं कि वहां पर बहुत सारा insurgency है, बहुत सारा लड़ाई झगड़ा चल रहा है. इस point तक ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं हुआ था. Aga Shahid Ali ने अपनी मर्जी से और एक बेहतर future के लिए कश्मीर को छोड़ा था. So at this point, he was a simple migrant who was feeling emotional about his uh, uh, home. And this is a small little poem uh, section of a poem another poem from the same volume uh, harpan jamalias which i used uh, or brought in for you just to give you a sense that how uh, he the entire volume talks about his affection and his uh, you know connection with his parents his ancestors and uh, um, you know everyone who's associated with his homeland so इस पर्टिकुलर वॉल्यूम था हाफ इंच हिमालयाज उसका नाम ही उन्होंने हाफ इंच हिमालयाज लिखा है वो पूरा वॉल्यूम चार सेक्शंस में डिवाइडेड है जिसमें वो अपने एंसेस्टर्स की अपने दादा की दादी की और वहां से जुड़े ट्रेडिशंस की यहाँ तक कि अपने नौकरों तक के कुछ एपिसोड्स रिकॉल करते हैं किस तरीके से यू नो हाउ द अफेक्शन बिटवीन हिज पेरेंट्स हाउ दे मस्ट बी मिसिंग हिम हाउ ही मिसेस देम सो एंड हाउ ही रिमेंबर्स द स्मॉल लिटिल डिटेल्स ऑफ हिज हाउस एंड हाउ ही इज अन टू गो बैक टू दैट लैंड सिंपली बिकॉज ही हैज चोजन अ डिफरेंट लाइफ सो even when you choose a better life the idea is that you you know miss the home back no matter how difficult it is you know there is this poem by kamla das and it's called hot noon in malabar and uh, we read this poem when i was in class 10 and i still remember it, it the emotion still you know st- uh, strikes me when she says you know um, the place that i come from it is a very you know backward it's a very poor place it's a village imagery that she creates and he says you know uh, neighbors hain jo ki peep in karte hain aur uh, you know bangle sellers aate hain jo ki bahut kachchi chudiyan lekar aate hain and uh, there is dust on them and then you do there is a well which is dried and you know the village dog is very skimpy is not a very well fed dog people don't have a lot of resources there people don't have a lot of you know pageants there and people don't have a lot of you know activities to engage in there's not a lot of economic prosperity in that village that she comes from and yet she says i miss that place because it's my home and even in uh, uh, ba1 you have uh, um, i think this is this the uh, nasim ezekiel's poem where he says my backward place is my uh, my home is my backward place this is making a reference to vs naipaul and he says no matter how backward you call india india is my homeland and i love it the way it is i love the chaos i love the you know uh, tragedy i love the economic uh, uh, you know uh, poverty i i don't mind it i, I love it despite those feelings so here is aga shahidli but he never really talks about the difficulties in this particular volume the difficulties will come on later in his uh, when when trouble starts in kashmir so that's another story for 
perhaps another le lecture. But up till this point, he was pretty happy with his homeland. And he says that, you know, I close my eyes. It doesn't leave me. What doesn't leave me? The cold moon of Kashmir, which breaks into my house and steals my parents' love. He says he's feeling jealous of even the moonlight. He goes to my house and sees my parents from my parents. वो उस मून लाइट को पसंद कर रहे हैं एंड आई एम नॉट देयर एंड दे कैन नॉट थिंक अबाउट मी एंड हेंस ही फील्स जेलेट सो दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ सेंटीमेंट दैट नो दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर वॉल्यूम टॉक्स अबाउट एंड आई विल बी सेंडिंग दिस पीपीटी टू योर टीचर डॉक्टर रामनाथ and uh, you can read this particular quote from Mijaz Ahmed. I'm pretty sure ये आपको बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं समझ पाएगा. पर ये diaspora perspective से जब हम आगा शायद अली को पढ़ते हैं, तो हमको इजाज़ Ahmed का ये छोटा सा ऐसे है जिसमें वो कहते हैं कि you know uh, there are people who are prevented against their own commitment and desire from living in a country of the birth. Just what I explained to you about Aga Shahid Ali, that it was not that Aga Shahid Ali had been in his house. It was their own choice, his own choice to leave his nation and settle down. But he says that there is, uh, you know, sometimes this tacit, unsaid kind of a uh, um, uh, condition. You know, as, as a poet, he knew that he will not be able to prosper so much in uh, uh, Kashmir or even in New Delhi and hence he was compelled to leave the land and th therefore this sense of uh, uh, tragedy sets in, the sense of loss sets in. So that's Aga Shaidali, you can read the quote later and uh, you can perhaps use it in your answers. I don't know how you will be asked to frame your answers but I think that is how uh, it will be. So that is Aga yeah. Shaidali. I am now open to questions if you have some. Yes, ma'am. There are students who have questions. So I invite the students, whoever is willing to ask the questions, please. Sure. Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Krishna. From Good afternoon. And my question I didn't catch your name, beta. Can you repeat your name? My name is Kushbu Yadav. Okay, Kushbu. Okay. My question is, after Shahid Ali, what is the status of Kashmir poetry and where lies its future? What is the status of Kashmir's poetry and where lies its Kashmir. future? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, that's a huge question, Kushbu. Uh, uh, after so Shahid Ali is uh, uh, this is essay by Amitav Ghosh, which is prescribed to the CBSC students. I don't know if they still have the written their course, but it was there on the course for a while. It's called uh, on the Ghats of the West, uh, on the Ghats of the Only World, and it talks about Aga Shahid Ali being the national poet of Kashmir, uh, Rashtra Kavi. Because Aga Shahid Ali, after a while, started supporting, uh, you know, the separation of Kashmir, which is, of course, very tragic for us Indians. But uh, uh, that is his reality. And he was pretty open and vocal about it in his poetry readings, in his writings. And, you know, later on, he becomes a very politically charged person. So he becomes one of the prominent and the first people Writing in English, when you write in English, it's very fast in the international market. So he becomes the first figure who writes about the independence or the separation of Kashmir from the Indian state, uh, which is of course a tragic idea. But he in, goes on to inspire a lot of writers who uh, you know, supported his cause. And uh, uh, you know, there is this... Uh, Pakistani uh, novelist called Kamala Shamsi, then there's another American poet called Kazim Ali who takes it into the ghazal form. And then there are a couple of uh, uh, writers, journalists and correspondents, stern writers like um, Basharat Peer and uh, uh, there's one more, I think. Mm, can't remember the name. But uh, they also again talk about, you know, the separation of Kashmir. So, not just poetry, but the entire literature that is being produced in English from the Kashmiri land has uh, 
flourished after Aga Shahi Dali to answer your question in very precise and very clear and very uh, on you know polit non political terms. Yes, it has flourished. It has gained a lot of market. People are reading about Kashmir because a lot of people sitting in the West. Support this idea of India separating, uh, uh, you know, uh, or doing away with Kashmir. And uh, sadly, Aga Shahidali goes on to become one of the first people to do that. But uh, um, we are still one nation, and uh, you know, the present government has, you know, repealed that uh, our 370 wala sab So, abhi, uh, Kashmir is a new place altogether. And the separation wala jo pura idea tha, wo pura khatam ho chuka hai. And we're reclaiming, you know, the population. The land, of course, was ours. Always, we were never really separated. But the sentiment of the native Kashmiris and a lot of Kashmiris uh, over there was not with India. But now, gradually, we're coming to a space where native Kashmiris, especially the Muslim people, are accepting that staying with India is you know, better for their future. And I think they, the, the uh, future of Kashmiri poetry or Kashmiri English poetry will uh, be tied with the future of Indian poetry. Now, poetry as such does not have a very bright future. Whether it's India or America, whether it's anywhere else, because in today's history, we uh, literature may written text may sahit may bohazada yaki nahi karte hai. and yet uh, with the boom of the social media we see uh, there has been a marked increase in all sorts of readings but you know serious literature ke parne wale thode abhi bhi kam hai ab jo hum kisse kahani padte hai ya poetry padte hai wo zada tar production or you know film making and movie making and uh, serial making ke lihaas se padte hai so I think Serious literature, written literature may not have that bright a future because a lot of people are, you know, major population is moving towards uh, multimedia resources. But uh, having said that, jitna acha future Indian poetry ka hai, utna hi Kashmiri poetry ka bhi. I hope that answers your question. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, first of all, ma'am, I want to thank you for this wonderful lecture on Aga Shahid Ali. And so, ma'am, my question is, uh, is Shahid mm -hmm. Ali a uh, cosmopolitan in his poetic approach, uh, in his poems? Can he, he read from the perspective of cosmopolitanism? Uh, what's the second part of your question? Can he? Can he read from the perspective of cosmopolitanism? Can we read him from the perspective of cosmopolitanism? Oh. Okay, I didn't, I didn't catch your name, beta. Um, but uh, I think you, Gita. Gita, Varma. yes, ma'am. Gita. Okay. Uh, uh, so Gita, yes, of course, Shahid Ali is as cosmopolitan as one can be. Uh, when you read the ten volumes of poetry plus. Uh, two of the other books. One is a translation of the Urdu poet Faiz Ahmed Faiz, which is called The Rebel Cell Hit. And the other one is, uh, you know, a compilation of ghazals written in English. So, uh, Angrezi Zaban mein ghazal form ko introduce karne wale bhi Aga Shahid Ali the. And that is what uh, uh, was his major contribution to, you know, American as well as Indian poetry, which we have not really discussed because aapke uh, syllabus mein jo prescribed hai, wo ek bohat hi alag tarah ka poem hai. But uh, Aga Shahid Ali basically is liye jaan jate hai. Uh, ki unhone... However, when we read the entire gamut of his poetry, so he moves from being a simple migrant poem who's, you know, missing his home and longing for his home and talking about the beauty of his home. You know, there's this poem called the Dhaka Gauzes, which is very popular. And he talks about how in Bangladesh, in Dhaka, there is a muslin cloth that is so much longer, so much longer, that from a little finger ring, बाहर निकल आता है नो पूरी साड़ी जो है वो आर पार कर ली जाती है इफ यू गो एंड टॉक टू योर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स अबाउट इट दे विल बी एबल टू टॉक टू यू कि हां वो इस तरह का एक कपड़ा होता है वो सिल्क का होता है या मसलिन का होता है और वो इतना महीन होता है सो ही इज 
you know bringing all those kinds of traditions in his poetry and then he there's another poetry where he mentions ki hum jo hai jama masjid pe khade hue hain aur wahan par ek butcher hai jo ki you know he's hacking away the, the meat and he quotes the ghalib line and i quote a meer line and that is the kind of episode that i have but then next poem mein volume mein jab wo us mein jaakar settled hain so he is talking about the traditions in uh, prevalent in america he is talking about the desert part of america jo ki you know um, i met this person called daniel hall jo ki agar shahid ali ke uh, sathi the aur he is also a professor and he says you know ki agar shahid ali ka jo volume hai wo bilkul ek desert ki tarah hai american desert mein agar aap jaiye drive kariye to neelon tak sirf aur sirf you know ret 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 hoti hai और फिर अचानक से कहीं एक पेड़ या फिर कहीं पर एक छोटा सा यू नो कंस्ट्रक्शन होता है एंड दैट इज ऑल दैट इज इंटरेस्टिंग टू यू एंड द होल वॉल्यूम कॉल्ड अ नॉस्टैलजिस्ट मैप ऑफ अमेरिका वो पूरा वॉल्यूम जो है वो इसी तरह से इंटरेस्टिंग है देन ही टॉक्स अबाउट यू नो द नेटिव अमेरिकन दैट यूज टू लिव देयर ही टॉक्स अबाउट अ ट्राइब ऑफ क्रिश्चियन पीपल हु यूज टू लिव देयर later on he you know gets engaged with a lot of poets from uh, who were there internationally america is a land of you know multiculturalism and uh, people from all nationalities come and uh, you know settle down in america to wahan par wo bahut sare yahudi poets se aur spanish poets se aur uh, you know german poets se and uh, uh, russian poets se and he uses all those poets and references and troubled histories in his poetry so yes a cosmopolitan is a person you know who considers the entire world to be his playground so at one point at a level he is as local as he gets talking about new delhi streets and kashmir and the valley and the beauty of that and the indian tradition but in the at the same time as he progresses in his poetic career he lives in america and he you know Uh, reads and comes across different kind of people he uses their history weaving in his own personal history so to answer your question in very clear terms of course aga shahid ali can be read as a cosmopolitan poet and uh, that as that comes across as a major st- uh, strain of his poetry thank you so much ma'am uh, it has been a wonderful session for us I hope our students might have been enlightened by the wisdom that you have shared on them. Uh, now I call my colleague Dr. Jay Kumar to give a vote of thanks. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, sir, uh, but I'm having a question. Can I ask it, please? Ha ha, sure. Good afternoon, ma'am. This is Vanshika Singh. Good. I have, okay. I have this question that uh, Agar Shahi Ali uh, left his homeland for his better future. Like uh, there were the the situation at that time was not that bad, or the atmosphere had not begun by that time. So mm-hmm. what ignited this idea of being separatist or having this idea of a separate nation? Or being separated from that's India. That's a very nation. political question, beta. I'm. I don't think I should be answering you very clearly. Uh, but you know, um, in his writings and you know, in his conversation with this poet, uh, novelist called Amitav Ghosh. I think आपके सिलेबस में कहीं ना कहीं वो भी prescribed होगा. Amitav Ghosh का शायद Hungry Tide होता है या Sea of Poppies generally prescribed होता है. तो वो अमिताभ घोष से कहते हैं कि यू नो वाई कांट पीपल जस्ट बी हैप्पी विद ऑल द काइंड ऑफ फूड एंड म्यूजिक दैट वी हैव एंड येट एट आफ्टर अ सर्टेन पॉइंट ही बिकम्स वेरी अनहैप्पी विद द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट प्रॉब्ली बिकॉज ऑफ द एट्रोसिटीज ऑफ एट्रोसिटीज थी कि नहीं थी ये एक बहुत ही पोलिटिकल डिबेट का क्वेश्चन है कश्मीर के लोग कहते हैं कि थी हिंदुस्तानी लोग कहते हैं कि नहीं थी but uh, uh, he seems to have taken sides and he said felt ki hum kashmiri log jo hain he doesn't support uh, you know going with uh, pakistan openly or in any um, even suggestively but he always uh, voted or he always advocated for the independence of kashmir he said ki hindustan mein 
शादियां जो है वो सर्दियों में मनाते हैं मौसम अच्छा होता है हमारे यहाँ शादियां गर्मियों में मनाते हैं हमारी गर्मी ज्यादा अच्छी होती है हम पहाड़ी लोग हैं सर्दियों में बहुत ज्यादा बर्फ पड़ती है इस वजह से हमको अलग होना चाहिए दैट ऑफकोर्स वॉज अ वेरी लेम एक्सक्यूज एंड ही यूज दैट एपिसोड जोकिंगली बट एट वन पॉइंट ही बिकम्स वेरी क्लियरली पोलिटिकल एंड ही बिकम्स वेरी वेरी यू नो ओपिनियटेड अबाउट Kashmir being separated from uh, uh, India, and he cites you know uh, there's this volume called the Country Without Post Office, which was in 2016. Me, बहुत ज़्यादा controversial हो गया था with that JNU episode. अगर आप लोगों में से किसी को याद होगा तो वो जो टुकड़े टुकड़े गैंग वगैरह का पूरा पॉलिटिक्स आया था तो वो वहां पर वो अफजल गुरु के लिए एक इवेंट होल्ड किया था उन्होंने और उस इवेंट का नाम दिया था कंट्री विदाउट पोस्ट ऑफिस जो कि आगा शाहिद अली की एक पोइट्री कलेक्शन का नाम है जहां पर वो बात करते हैं कि कैसे कश्मीर में सारा कम्युनिकेशन नाइनटीन से नाइनटी तक के बीच का के के हालात उस पोइट्री में मेंशन है तो वहां पर वो बात करते हैं कि किस तरीके से यू नो पोस्ट ऑफिस शट डाउन कर दिए गए थे और किस तरीके से लोगों को कम्युनिकेशन नहीं मिल रहा था और पीपल वर आउटसाइड कश्मीर हैड नो आइडिया व्हाट वॉज एपनिंग इन कश्मीर बिकॉज ऑल द पोस्ट ऑफिस वर शट डाउन दर वॉज इन टोटल शट डाउन ऑफ द स्टेट मशीनरी ओवर देयर द स्टेट वॉन्टेड टू यू नो कर्ब डाउन एनी काइंड ऑफ इंसर्जेंसी दैट वॉज अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द पीपल एंड दैट इज वॉट basically according to the reports or according to his uh, you know uh, interviews that have uh, studied that is what uh, made him say ki humko kashmir se alag uh, humko hindustan se alag kar dena chahiye that is that that's a very political thing to talk about uh, but uh, having said that as a poet he is of course brilliant uh, aapko unka politics shayad na pasand hai mujhe nahi pasand hai ho sakta hai aapko bhi na pasand hai बट जो जो पोएट्री है उनकी वो ऑफकोर्स काफी इंटरेस्टिंग है एटलीस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग रीड Yes, ma'am. Now we have a possibility of time and the meeting may end in. Yes, I understand. Minutes. Even I have a class, so. Okay, okay. So, so I, I I request Dr. Abhishek Kumar to uh, say the word of thanks. I have a question. Please, please. Now we don't have time anymore. I think what you can do is uh, I, I will be sharing this slide with your uh, teacher, Dr. Ramnath. And what you can do is you can send your question through him to me, or Dr. Ramnath can send me my email ID or my phone number, is it? And you can shoot me a message if you want to talk to me. So I'm all open yes, for you. any kind of discussion on Naga Shahid Ali. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ramnath ji. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. uh first of all on behalf of our department and college i would like to re welcome our distinguished speakers of today's lecture dr fatima nuri assistant professor department of english uh, jtg pg college priyagraj it has been a great honor for us listening to your enlightening lecture ma'am indeed agra shahid ali has been one of the important stands of modern indian english poetry as far as poetic multiculturalism in india is concerned also his contribution has been immense in bringing kashmir on the map of the world poetry uh, ma'am you very well elaborated the poem prescribed in our master's syllabus postcard from kashmir so thank you for the detailed presentation and explanation you also covered several concepts like stream of consciousness diaspora memory trails post colonial and post modern poetry cosmopolitanism in your explanatory discourse for so thank you very much for all those explanations at the end i would like to thank our patron and principal ma'am of our college for giving permission to organize this lecture i also express my gratitude towards our departmental in charge dr shailendra kumar yadav and convener of this lecture dr ramnath kesarwani also a big thank you to all our students who have patiently heard this lecture with great enthusiasm and came up with some brilliant questions before our distinguished speaker so thank you one and all with the hope that we will meet again with some new topic and perhaps we can have some more detailed discussion with our distinguished today's distinguished speakers in near future so thank you one and all and have a nice day 
thank you so much thank you for having me Th thank you ma'am thank, thank you, you so much it's a pleasure